After months of negotiations, consultations, and compromises, Sidewalk Labs, a sister company of Google, is a step closer to developing this section of Toronto's waterfront, a 12-acre parcel known as Keyside. It's an ambitious project with the aim of building a sustainable, carbon-neutral, and high-tech neighborhood with more affordable housing. Behind me is one of their innovations, in fact. They call it the Building Raincoat. And yes, I could have been staying dry under there all this time. The agreement was reached today with Waterfront Toronto, paving the way for the next phase of evaluation. We're obviously thrilled that we've kind of reached this milestone and reached agreement on sort of the critical threshold issues. The Keyside plan is to develop a so-called smart city in the area south of the lakeshore, approximately between Sherburne and Cherry Streets. Sidewalk Labs had to make a number of concessions in order for things to move forward. They had originally wanted a much larger amount of land, 190 acres. It has been reduced to 12. Another big concern for Waterfront Toronto and the public has been privacy and the way that Sidewalk Labs have proposed to collect and store data, calling it the Urban Data Trust. Critics believe this would turn Keyside into essentially a wired and surveilled neighborhood. But Waterfront Toronto is now satisfied that people's privacy will be protected. Our objective is to require that the control and collection of data in the project will be democratically accountable. We are now working with government partners to set new, appropriately high standards for privacy protections. Well, the first item is, uh, for Steve Diamond made it clear after today's board meeting and vote that this is not a done deal. Issues will continue to arise for both parties. For example, Sidewalk Lab says expanding public transit to Keyside is crucial and had wanted reassurance that the waterfront LRT would be built. Local councillor Joe Cressy, who is also on the Toronto Waterfront Board, is optimistic that will happen. We will be there as a partner, and as Waterfront Toronto, we will be calling on our partners, both at the province but also the federal government, to make sure that that's built. And I'm confident we can get that done because it's central to this project. You can't build that neighborhood without an LRT. Today, Mayor John Tory said the changes made to the proposal represents the framework for an exciting and innovative opportunity, one that will create thousands of jobs. We all know that we must develop our waterfront in the right way. The waterfront is too important to get it wrong. That is why we're moving through this process so carefully. We've obviously seen development moving. Sidewalk Lab says it'll spend $1.3 billion on the project that will include 2,600 residential units, with 40% of them at below market rates, along with features such as heated sidewalks, illuminated roads, and tall timber structures. We want to create the most innovative neighborhood in the entire world. One of Waterfront Toronto's requirements is that Sidewalk Labs will have to pay market value for this site, right now valued at $590 million. There will be more public consultations coming up in the next few months with the hope of making a final decision in March of 2020. But even if that is a go, it will still have to be approved by all levels of government. Coming up, we speak to some residents who still have a lot of concerns. Although Waterfront Toronto is pleased with the changes that Sidewalk Labs has made to its latest waterfront proposal, there are some residents that are still not satisfied. They are convinced that because of the connection with a massive private company like Google, their data and information will be at risk. What's up for grabs are our charter protected rights to privacy, to liberty, which includes um, security from interference by government bodies such as the ones who would be collecting the data about us in the Keyside neighbourhood. Either there, there is something more to it than urban design that we don't know about yet, um, or I can't see why we need sidewalk at all. Why don't we just put out a, a regular call for proposals the way it was done for all the other waterfront sites? Meantime, Councillor Joe Cressy says he's optimistic the community will move forward. He believes the city can be a leader in the smart city future. Toronto should design a model to ensure that we have the most private smart city in the world. That's what we're working towards, to seize the opportunities, but to design the most private smart city in the world. That's an opportunity for the city to lead that conversation. I believe we can. The next step in the Sidewalk Lab saga, more consultations scheduled for December.